in prison? Yes, sir. Oh, hallelujah! And I assume he'll be living with you? Oh, oh no, no, that's absolutely no Absolutely not. Stage, you dating any black men yet? Oh, God. When I get to meet my grandson? Your mama said I could take you to ice cream, you know, so we can bond. I might have a proposition for you. What can you tell audiences about your characters and what we're going to see from them this season? Okay. All right, sweet. Um, <laughs> let's see. Finn, he is such a lovable character. I love playing him. He, um, he gets to go through a... a a journey of self-identity, learning who he is, getting to uh, meet his grandfather, you know, getting to finally have a male figure in his life, which is really cool. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a great story about bonding and uh, second chances and healing. And the people are going to, they're going to watch it and they're going to love all the characters. They're going to fall in love with everyone. It was like almost a dream come true going to California just pulling up on set like who's ready to say some spicy language <laughs> this girl and um as soon as i walk on set we're like i'm always like little little page 2.0 miss carrie is like hello twin why are you like wearing my outfit right now i'm like this is my outfit why'd you steal mine and we would like we would fake we would probably just we'll like act on this, uh, we'll just act like we're fighting. Like, no, you stole my outfit. Um, we would go on and on, like, stop stealing my outfit, okay? Cause you know we would have those fights, like in those commercials when or shows that the mom always tries to match her daughter. And I was like, ah, oh, it's my outfit. You can stay with us for as long as you need, but the same rules still apply, no, right? Don't get in your business. And don't put the knife back in the jelly after I done licked it. Are you doing that? No, that was a joke. Baby. No. Do you want no. your own no. shelf in the yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you, you really have a knack of touching on important content with a bit of comedy. Huh. So, what do you think that aspect does for Unprisoned? Mm, um, well, thank you, one, for the kind words. And um, first off and secondly, um, yeah, I mean, Unprison is such a complex story and an important story, um, you know, that talks about the complexities of being incarcerated and going home and being recalibrated with your loved ones and the complexity of that and forgiveness and compassion and all these beautiful, challenging themes. Um, but it does it in a way that's light and funny and provocative and, you know, sexy and it's multi generational. So I really think that all of these aspects will speak to a wide range of audiences. Um, and I'm looking forward to people checking it out and seeing what they think. Let's start with more wine, obviously. So, how'd you two meet? Through my dad. Oh, that's so sweet. Who just got out of prison. Oh. Wow. He was a drug dealer. Wow. Oh, wait, drug dealers? What show is this? So, there is so much that I want to talk to you about, but uh, let's start at the beginning of Unprisoned. The first thing we see is that this has been inspired by some true stuff. So, <laughs> tell our audience a little bit about your story and what made you decide mm -hmm. to turn it into a TV show. Well, my dad first went to prison when I was three years old. I went into foster care and then he was in and out for most of my life. His last prison sentence uh, was 19 years. And when, you know, in the lead up to him getting released, I really was like, what's it going to be like to have a relationship with this person who, you know, he called me every two weeks without bail. I considered him to be a good dad just from in there. And I knew that that was, an, that was a kind of family relationship that I'd never seen on TV. I'd been writing TV for, you know, 15 years at that point. And I was like, you know, this is a story that needs to be told. Um, I just, I know how charming and kind of, kind of a lovely person uh, my dad was. And I knew that if people met him, and if they saw a character like him, they would open their hearts and minds to what mass incarceration is and the families of people who are affected by it in a whole new way. So that's that's really where it started. Everyone put their hearts on the line. Their hearts were all over the script. You know, you could everyone made their characters so unique and lovable. And, you know, it's uh, 
also super well written, of course, which of course benefits the uh, the actors. But yeah, Unprisoned is now streaming exclusively on Hulu. I'm yes. so excited. I'll see you next time. It's not about what you owe someone else. It's about who you want to be. Now you know it don't make no difference if the female's in love, the man don't love her back. You giving me relationship advice because I am the marriage and family therapist. Uh, Licensed and everything. If I can prevent. Edwin! Oh, God damn. You're okay. 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 Okay.